the last section, we learned about creating components in React, styling them, and implementing routing. Now we will add some commands relating to C++ and create a simple exercise to run a C++ program. To run C++, it is a little different because we need to use a compiler as C++ is a high level competitive programming language. And if you want to find the address, we can use it in debugging. Now we will add a command on how to use this code in VS Code. First, we have to install VS Code and configure it with the required extensions. Here it is telling us how to create, but this is not a proper clicker. Whenever we want to run the file, I have to install it. It is a lengthy process to install it. If you go to this, you will see different websites open. If you go to the official website, we can see that there is an installation for Windows 10. The last update was on the 21st of May. So, in the month of May we installed it from here. It took 5 seconds to install, so we have to set it up. The process of installation might take 25 to 30 minutes, but it might take less time. Now the installation has started, and when it is done, I will click on continue. Now we have some packages open and installing all of them would take a lot of time. The main package we need right now is the G++ package. You have to mark this package, but it's okay if you mark all the packages. If you have to use all the packages in the future, then you will have to install it again. To install this, we have to click on the apply changes, and here you have to click on apply. Now we have completed all the installation. Close this window. Now, our software is installed. Next, you have to go to the place where you have installed it. I have installed it in E drive. So here you go to the GW. Here, I have just installed Gflux. If I want to install something else, I will show you the full installation. You have to select the bin folder and copy it. Next, I'll go to my computer and I open my computer properties where I'll open advanced system settings. You have to close it. After closing it, you have to open your command prompt. See here, my command prompt is not installed. If you want to check which version you have installed, you have to write here, G++ minus. So you can see, this is our full version. If you want to use it, you have to go to that folder and open the command. So here is your command. Here I am going to open it in my VS Code file. So, in this folder we will create our files and execute them in our compiler because we have installed it. Here, if you go to the code that we created, you have to copy that code. After copying it, you have to create a file here with any name. For example, main.cpp. You can choose any name, but the extension should be cpp. Now paste your code. Before running this code, you need to do some installations in C++. Firstly, you have to install the C++ and Dynamics debugging extension. Secondly, you have to install the Hover extension. Once these are installed, you will get a result from the command prompt. How do we get the result? You simply need to run the command again. If you want to run it again, it will ask you for an integer input. Enter any integer. I will add 5, and it will display the result. In this case, the square of 5 is 25. In the chat GPT session, we received a question where we were asked to write a function in C++ to calculate the square of an integer x. We provided the code, and here you can see how to learn and implement it in videos or by following the method from the previous C++ webinar. So, we have saved the environment. Now we have to go to the folder and save it here. After saving it, open the command prompt. If I run the command again, the same integer value is still coming up. So, I will rename it to execute. By following this process, we were able to create a table. This way, we can create our own table, and that's why we are working on these small programs. The purpose is to gain knowledge and understand how to create and run programs. Doing all these steps from the beginning is very difficult. First of all, we have to do the charge update, but there are some things that the charge update is not doing. For example, the installation of C++ that we could not do accordingly. So we have to go a little bit ahead. That's why I gave you a proper way to install C++ as per the date. So, we will now work on some more C++ tasks and try to have some fun with ChatGPT.
We will create a game in C++. What will be the game? The game will be a number guessing game. Let me ask ChatGPT to write the code for us. I'm specifying C++ to avoid any accidental conversion to Python. ChatGPT, write a code in C++ to create a number guessing game. Here it has included some directives and has used some properties for the correct number. I will copy the code and paste it in the game. I have saved it and I will open my command prompt to compile and run the game. I will click on the button and I will type my name. My C++ name is is.ctp-o. And here I will enter the game's name and here it will say welcome to the guest number game. Enter the number. As we play, the program will provide feedback on whether our guesses are too high or too low until we guess the correct number. Here is an example. I will write the number 55, which is too low. Next, I will enter the number, which is also too low, 60. Next, I'll enter 70, which is also too low. 90 is also too low. I see that it is 97, since it says, congratulations, you passed the number in four attempts. Here it says that it has given us a proper game period, and we are using it properly, and it provided us the game details and start of the game until our code was completed. Actually, there is no specific process or language in C++. That's why it's called competitive programming language. By adding that you can use it, however, we don't have any way for proper styling. How to style a game? So, here we can see some data that we can use such as curly braces, line breaks, etc. And I will try to add some styling here. So, I will say, style again. Now, I will try to add some styling here. Maybe I will add something at the end. Actually, it didn't give us the proper styling that we were expecting. I will do it again. I will add a command again. Now let's see what sort of data we have. Let's see if we get the expected result. So, here, also it doesn't have fast appearance. It was just simple. We have added a code generator. So, in the simplest programs, we don't need to do any training. For proper styling and graphical interfaces, other programming languages and frameworks like R, Apple, Table 1 are more suitable. If the framework is used in the software, they will do the styling. Mm -hmm.